As the whole world knows by now, Manny Pacquiao is one of the greatest fighters of this or any era. And so far, his chief rival outside the ring has been Floyd Mayweather. But on November 12th, live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena and on HBO pay-per-view, Manny Pacquiao gets back into the ring for the third time with his chief rival inside the ring, and that's the great lightweight champion, Juan Manuel Marquez. We have them both here right now with their trainers, the great Freddie Roach and Nacho Beristain. Let's get started. Gentlemen. it right there. Uh, Juan, so far in the first round, it seemed to be going more or less your way. But Pacquiao has that kind of speed and power that just like that, even if you're doing everything right, you can find yourself on the canvas. What happened? In, in, in this round, when, when I start this round, I have confidence. I, com I, I have confidence myself, and this is a surprise with me. It surprised you? Yes. Many. He caught you with a good left hook that drove you to the ropes before you knocked him down. Did it hurt you at all? Did you, did you feel his power? Did you feel that you didn't have to worry about his power? It, it hurt, but um, I, didn't, I didn't hurt at all to um, distract my concentration to the fight. And when I got hit on that punch, I'm still focused and fighting back to, you know. Let's continue. <laughs> Juan, no one has ever accused Manny of being a dirty fighter. He's a good sportsman. But here we see, after the third knockdown, he hit you again while you were down against the ropes. You're both known as having very good finishing instincts when you have your man hurt. Did you feel that Manny's hitting you here was part of his instincts, or do you think it was dirty when you fell against the ropes and he hit you again? Yes, yes, that, that, that tear down, I, I feel that the referee say, say something to Manny, maybe molestarlo, decirle algo. I thought the referee was gonna tell him something, you know, warning him that, you know, he shouldn't have done that, that he, well, I, he, I know he hit me when I was down. Did you ever ask Manny why he hit you when you were down the third time? You can ask him now. <laughs> this is the, the action. This is the passion. You believe, so it was yes. clean? Yes, no, Manny, clean. would you like to address that? Um, no, we know the rules of boxing is um, when you hit your gloves in the canvas and you cannot punch your opponent. And he didn't hit the, the canvas yet and he hold the, the rope and and the gloves is, is in. You, you can see it, you can see it again. In a way, this is maybe the most heroic moment of your career, where the great Manny Pacquiao knocks you down. You're actually the glove was on the canvas. You got hit again hard, two knockdowns in one knockdown, and you still managed to beat the count. How badly were you hurt? I no estaba muy lastimado. Me sentía bien. I felt good. I felt good. I really, you know, I know I was down, but I felt good. Manny, what were you thinking during the course of this round? when the guy keeps getting up off the canvas and throwing hard shots back. Did you think at that point, even though you had him on the canvas, this might be a long night? Yes, 
I mean, uh, when uh, when I got him, the chicken knocked down uh, and he get up. I know he's, it's gonna be tough for me. Let's continue. Now here we have Juan. You landed a really good straight right hand. I imagine it's discouraging for you to land a pinpoint right hand. You're an excellent puncher. You've knocked a lot of fighters out. And he doesn't go down. He just keeps fighting. Yes, I, I use my, my right hand. In, in the gym, if, if I want to win to the soap out, I, I need to use the right hand. But usually, when you land a right hand like that, the guy goes down. He, didn't, he did not go down. Yes, because man is he's strong. He, 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 he has a great, uh, great chin. Great chin. How was Juan able to land right hands like that in their encounters? Well, when you're fighting southpaw, and um, I used to like to fight southpaws myself, um, you know, they, they are suckers for right hands if you put them in the right position. It just wasn't on the button. Sure. Can you, can you, can, I'm sorry, could you show me Juan? Could you come over here for one second? Would you mind? Manny, could you come over here for one second? Would you mind? Show me Freddie in this position. Yeah, they were like this. And Marquez had just landed a right hand, right, if you just threw it, and, and Manny gets hit with it. Why is Manny getting hit with this right hand? Because he has his foot on the outside, and when Manny jabs, he comes right down the middle with this shot here. Mm -hmm. Manny goes over his shoulder. And how do you correct that mistake? You get, you get your foot on the outside and take that away from him. So can you show me if he throws the right hand, or he's, so where do you want Manny? If he has this position here, mm -hmm. with his foot on the outside, he lands the right hand there. Mm -hmm. If I take the foot here, outside let me see, here, let me see. can I see Manny? Can I see Manny? This is what the people want to see. If Manny takes his foot outside here, mm -hmm. and he, he, now he takes that away from him, and now he has the, this shot here. They mean, uh, like, uh, who has the good position is? Is going to land the punch. Going to land the, the good punch. Guys, when you see that, even just standing between you two, not a, you're a great fighter and you're a great fighter. And when you're in your presence, you know that you're in the presence of greatness. But when you're between you two, there's something extra because you guys are writing boxing history. When you watch that sort of thing, what do you think to yourself? Manny. Um, I think when Marquez and I, we fight like, like a fighter, you know, in the ring. We, we give a, what people want. Now, what's amazing to me about this knockdown is that you already knew you had to be careful from the first fight. And he threw a punch that nobody else can throw, a w weird kind of shot. Can we rewind that and see that again? He was able to cross a left hand over in a position that didn't look like he should be able to hit that hard with. How do you prepare for that? I saw that, per I saw that perfect opening. I go, I'm going to land this left hook, and then all of a sudden he, I'm getting hit. That didn't discourage you? No, 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 no. I, on the contrary, that helped me to keep fighting and helped me to want to win the fight. No, it makes me more motivated. I go, what, what happened here? You know, this isn't, this isn't happening again. That's why he's a great fighter. Uh, Freddie. Am I wrong? Is that the perfect position to land the left hand? It didn't seem to me like he could get that kind of power on a straight left hand like that. Yeah, but he he was turning right. He turned into the punch, and it was just the two forces hitting together. Because you see, it was a little choppy shot from Manny. It wasn't really a, a big power shot. But you see, when we talk about accuracy, this is right in the button. The accuracy will do that. Amazing.
There we see later in the fight, he gets back up, and there he is landing the straight right hand again in another tough exchange. Can you guys get up one more time? Would you mind? He was able to land the right hand because, again, the left foot is outside of Manny's right foot, correct? This is, this is, fight, this is fight with the gloves and fight with the foot, too. I need to... I, yes. my, my foot, I... I need. Establish the outside position with your lead foot. Yes. That's the key. Whatever man who get first here has advantage. Here the right hand... Here the right hand lands, and it was landing with a lot of frequency there because, as you mentioned, he established outside position yeah. with his left foot. He, he, he go first here. I, I looking for my, my look, uh, uh, Can You make that step and show me what Manny needs to do. Make that step again. Yes. Okay. There. Nullify it. Let's see. Can you throw the right hand? And he comes over the top here. Yes. With the left hand. Yes. Did you think you won the fight? Yes. Yes. I think you won the fight. Manny, did you think you won the fight when the bell rang? Yes. You thought you won the fight? <laughs> yeah, that's why we have a third fight. <laughs> <laughs> In terms of the build-up to this fight, you're seen by many as an appetizer for him to fight Floyd Mayweather. How do you feel about that? <laughs> Gee. <laughs> I, I I don't know. I feel I feel bad because because the people the people think he will win. The people think, but the November 12 is is is, is primero noviembre. Después de pensar en, en, you, en Mayweather. He, you can think about he can think about Mayweather. He has to think about November 12. I have to think about November 12. Manny, do you feel that there's unfinished business with you and Marquez? Uh, the problem is uh, Marquez, um, he's not satisfied with the decision of that last two fights. You know, that's his right to complain, but, you know, uh, this is the third time. That's why I'm okay for this fight, because I want to finish all the doubts in his mind and in the fans' mind. You know, the doubts that will really win. Marquez and me, we, we can give a good fight to the people. Juan, you were ducked in the era of Barrera and Morales, you couldn't get any big fights. And yet here you are, 37 years old, lightweight champion of the world, fighting Pacquiao for the third time. Do you feel that your legacy, can you translate? El legado que vas a dejar es is on the line con el, against Pacquiao. Después de que nunca yes. pudiste pelear con, en 126 con los grandes. Yes, uh, this is, the, this is the, the great legacy for me. Isn't that going to be greater? My career will be the greatest career as soon as I beat him. Freddie, what's on the line for Manny Pacquiao? For Manny Pacquiao in, to be president of the Philippines, he needs to win this fight. <laughs> right now, he's only president of the boxing universe. Yeah, correct. Co co president. He, yeah, yeah. But, but he, he, president y el vice president. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for coming today. Wait, I, As I, always. I want to say something. Yes. Uh, that people will see another war. That people will see another great fight. Because I, I prepare myself very hard and I look I look for the, the victory. Manny, have you ever had a rival like Juan Manuel Marquez who's given you 24 rounds back and forth? Uh, no. Even Morales? Not even Morales. Okay. Thank you, guys.